Good morning, good morning, good morning, my people. It's another new day, and today I want to discuss some of the questions you guys left me at the comment section on YouTube. And one uh, that I'm gonna discuss today is the process of changing jobs in Qatar. That that's only for those ones in Qatar who are in Qatar already, the locals, and. Probably if you are you're planning to come to Qatar, so this will help you in the future if you want to change jobs in Qatar um, Due to the new labor law that was said uh, last year There are some changes that have been taking place in between so by the end of this video You will have known fully on how to change jobs in Qatar and this one. I'm gonna give you uh, tell to you raw like I changed my job, so I'm going to give you uh, further information through experience. This one, I'm not going to read it from somewhere, so I'll talk from my head through my experience. So, immediately the labor law was changed in Qatar, uh, the NOC was removed and the law became effective immediately. It was, I think, on... Uh, I can't remember the date well, so let me not talk about that. So it started immediately. What delayed was companies were given six months time to work on their finances for those companies that were paying staffs below 1,000 Qatar real. So those ones are the ones that were given time to work on their finance. Of course, someone cannot just tell you today from tomorrow you'll be paying your staff 1,000 Qatar real and you have more than 100 staffs you have been paying 700 or 800 so you need to adjust your finances so after that was said uh, but changing jobs started immediately people started changing jobs immediately including me so what the previous uh, process was you just needed to get a new job mm, resign in your company some people did not even resign in their companies but it, it was official uh, official date and you have to give one month's notice and previously you could uh, apply for the job that you wanted a new job after you get the offer letter take the offer letter get your original copy of contract or offer letter that uh, mentions about your salary and what the company will provide for you blah 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 signed by you and the company then you upload it uh, on the Ministry of uh, Labor, Adelisa. After that, you will get the feedback that shows you have applied for for the for the change of employer. So it will not notify your employer immediately that you have applied for the change of employer. But once that uh, after one week, two or three weeks, it depends. You get another text message from Adlisa that showed um, you have been your change of employer has been accepted actually it has been accepted now it has been approved they were using the word approved that's the time they notify your employer and you on your notes period they will tell you maybe by this date it will be your last working day on your present company so sometimes people did not resign, so their employers used to get surprise messages from at least that this guy is in your company and did this date. Through that, the companies and the private sector uh, complained or rather uh, went to the labor, Ministry of Labor, had a discussion on how they can, they can make uh, like they can make it balance on both the employees and the employers without any affecting the other in a certain way like employers employees were just moving to other companies leaving other companies without employees so the government the ministry of uh, labor had to discuss uh, way out both sides and then they came up with uh, a new way of changing of employer or sponsorship which is mandatory that you resign now this is what you want to hear guys this is the time actually give me a like subscribe if you are not subscribed to the channel and listen to this carefully because this now is the 
latest updates on change of sponsorship and change of employer in Qatar. One, find yourself a job. Apply for jobs. Jobs are online. And if you want jobs, you can comment in the comment section which kind of jobs you're looking for. I will tell you, I will tell you the jobs for those people who are in Qatar. There are several jobs in Qatar right now. You can get jobs locally. So number one, apply for the jobs. Get a job, go for an interview, get a job offer, sign the job offer, have it at hand. Don't resign before you get a job offer and accept it. Please don't. I'm advising you. You may resign and never get that job, please. So once you get a job, resign to your company. And the labor law now states, after you resign, take the resignation letter to your company. Let them sign and stamp the resignation letter to show that they have accepted your resignation. Because you are going to use this signed and stamped resignation letter to upload it to the Ministry of Labor, Adelisa, online, together attached with your contract, original contract copy or offer letter. That's in case you lost, uh, in case you don't have your um, uh, contract. But your contract is always there. Just go to your company after you resigned, they will give you the contract. They have it, trust me, they have it because you are, there is no way you can be given a Qatari ID if your company did not give. Uh, a contract copy signed both by you when you landed in Qatar or when you landed in that company and signed by the company. So they have. Just ask them for the contract copy after they have signed your resignation letter. So these are the most two most important documents you need to apply for change of sponsorship. One, a signed and a stamped resignation letter. Two, your contract copy. Number three, this your offer letter. So you need to have things like when you are applying for the other company, you need to get what you need to get from the other company other than the offer letter is their computer card or the company ID. Get even their license, do a background check on the company and don't move from one company to the other before doing a background research of the company. You may get there and you find it's worse than the previous company that you are in. Please do research. This is what cost the Minister of Labor even um, change the labor laws about the NOC again to the signed resignation letter because people are moving when they land on the other company they find that it's not the company they wanted it doesn't have what they wanted so they have to cancel the change of sponsorship and go back to their company so even the people who are working on this got tired so please make sure you do a background research find a signed, get, get, get a job offer, uh, resign, take the resignation letter to your company, let them sign it and stamp it, then you will use it to apply online on the Adelisa. If you want the links, DM me on my Instagram, I'll send you the links for applying for the, for the change of employer, I will send everything to you, I have them raw. So that's it man, that's it guys. So it's not complicated, it's that simple, but make sure you get a job before you resign. That's the best advice I can give you guys. Uh, see you on the next video. This was a short one, a quick update. See you on the next video. And I wish you all the best case this 2021. Let people get their dream jobs. Let people be happy. Love you. Peace out, guys.